back at it again this week with another pants video. This week we're gonna be talking about these Enjoy Fader denims. This is actually a heavily requested video. But before I get into that, I finally went skating yesterday and I got some clips, so you already know. We better roll that. I was wearing these pants in the in the skating sash. So you can see how they look while skating. Literally best park ever. Look at this. Look at this beautiful. This is so good. I've already yeah, done a big really. twist on it. Yeah? Feels good to be out here in rural Virginia. Mozzie Broadway. Whoa, yeah, that's what it's called. Watch, watch. Whole lot of cows over here. Really? Yeah. Nice. It looks much worse than it is. I think this ledge right here is actually one of the funnest ledges in the area. I think this is my first time skating in over a month. First time in a skate park since I've been in Florida. Cause I've been snowboarding a lot. And I learned that you guys absolutely hate snowboard videos. No snowboarding videos. Never again, never gonna make a snowboarding video again. It's the worst video I've made. It's actually a good video, but it's the worst performing video I've made in like two years. So it's all right though, I like skating more. Alright, so right off the bat, I got these pants in a size 34. These pants are 100% cotton. They have this nice Enjoy logo right on the back, but it does get covered up by a belt. The material itself feels very soft. I love it. They're super comfortable to wear. Uh, one thing I noticed when I did first buy them though, is for some reason they were extremely like high-waisted. Like the entire pant would go up higher than my belly button. This is where they're at right now. If they're sitting at my feet, but when I first got them, they were literally like up here in this area from the crotch to the, to the waist was massive. And I had to wash them. I washed them inside out in cold water and I dried them on, I think warm setting also inside out. I had to wash them about three times before they were fitting perfectly. Now that they fit perfectly, I'm gonna be just air drying them, which is what I normally do with my pants. I really like the white stitching everywhere. I think that contrast really helps these pants, especially on the ankle down here. I think this particular seam is uh, one of the best looking as far as the aesthetics of the pants go. They do have a little embroidery right over here as well that says enjoy. You can barely read it, but you know it's there and every time you have to use the pockets, if you look down, you can see it. So I like that. So on Enjoy's website, their description of the pants are baggy, not all weird and slim fit. Thanin and Deeds like them, and they're cool and European. Uh, I found it kind of hard to find a whole lot of sizing details besides the waist sizing on their website for these pants. So I did my own measurement. Measurements. The inseam on these pants, I measured to be about 28 inches. I don't know if that's accurate on my uh, Polar 93 Denim 34s. I measured the inseam to be 29 inches. So the inseam may be a little shorter, but keep in mind what I said about this waist difference being bigger. So even though the inseam is shorter, uh, the pants don't feel like they're that short. So they sit uh, nice around the ankle. I am uh, 5'11", if you guys are curious. So before I got these pants, I could tell right by the picture that they were very straight-legged 
what I mean by this is if you look at the waist, uh, they pretty much go straight down. I feel like almost every other pair of pants I own goes outward a little bit. And I'll show you a little demonstration right here compared to my Polar 93s. So I have both of these pants sitting at like a natural like resting area for them. And as you can see, these 93s go outward a whole lot more than the faders do. They pretty much just go straight down. You can actually feel this while you're wearing the pants. It almost feels like if you're sagging them even a little bit, like almost unnoticeably, that when you spread your legs out, you can kind of feel them. Like your legs feel like you couldn't do a split if you wanted to, it feels like it would rip them. I had this problem a little bit more when they were brand new than I do now. I almost don't have this problem at all anymore or I've gotten used to it. And another thing this does is I am actually like a size 32 inch waist. It's just like the actual size of my waist. So 34 is a little bit bigger. This waist is a little bit like baggier. Like I have to tighten it up just a little bit with a belt. I feel like if I got them in a size that actually fit right, they would almost feel too constricting because of the fact that like your legs can't go as far apart if they were skinny then they do or then they uh can when they're baggier so that it, it's kind of like a weird fitment thing but i've gotten totally used to it it doesn't bother me that much but you might be able to notice that if you if you pick them up and you're not used to it overall though i think these are very comfortable stylish pants and one thing that i'm not sure about with them yet is how they're going to handle in the summer heat i've got these in december so pretty much every weather I've skated in, the hottest it's gotten is about uh, 60 degrees. And that sort of heat, they didn't feel overly hot, but since they are 100% cotton, they may be feeling a little bit too much in those summer months, but that's just something we're gonna have to wait and see. So I was able to find these pants online for about 50 bucks, making them a pretty good deal compared to some other companies of pants. I would definitely recommend buying them, and I actually may pick up on some more. All right, I think that's about it for this video. Hope you guys like it. See you guys on the next one. Peace out, mates.